Hi guys! My New Year's resolution was to cut down on waste. Plastic waste mainly, but just all waste in general. We seem to create a lot as a household and it's been, well, we're over six months into it and so I've had a good shot at it and I just wanted to share with you my experiences. The biggest thing that I've learned is to not beat myself up over it. Even small changes have a knock-on effect and if everybody made small changes there would be a difference made. Um, it's it's not about being a completionist or a perfectionist and having like no waste and being able to put all your waste into like a tiny little ball at the end of the year. It's it's just about doing what works for you, I guess. So I thought I would share a few of the things that we've done and what's worked and what hasn't. One thing that has been really easy is using a water bottle. Um, I've just been refilling this from the tap and keeping it in the fridge for chilled water. It's a glass bottle. It's one of the Voss bottles. I think it's a pound or two pounds maybe for the flavoured water that comes inside. This one I particularly like because it's um, got no branding on it and then I was able to keep the bottle rather than buy bottled water and throwing it away and just keep refilling it with tap water and I've got two of these and I find them really useful. Also in the kitchen I have got rid of my J cloths. I've always called them J cloths. Those kind of like fabricy cloths that you use for a little while. They're very thin, and then you throw them away. They usually like a blue checked pattern on them. And I have got dish cloths. Now this isn't the first dish cloth I had. I tried knitting my own dish cloth, but I didn't use the right kind of material, and it just it just didn't work. It wasn't um, very absorbent. It just kind of like scratched over the surfaces. So. I liked the idea of making my own but I didn't I didn't get the right type of wool but I ended up just buying a packet of these cotton ones um, from Wilkinson's I think there's like eight in a packet and then I just put them a big pile of them in the washing machine at the end of the week which works quite well. Another really easy swap was hand soap. It took a while to use up the hand soap that we had and we swapped it for a solid bar of soap. This is the first bar of soap that we've used and it's a really nice one. It's, it smells kind of lemony though. I bought it from um, Neil's yard and I thought it was an almond scent. It doesn't smell exactly like I wanted it to and it's lasted for ages but it has got a nice a nice fragrance but I've recently discovered like a whole new area that I'd never explored before of like luxury soaps so I wish it would would go down a bit quicker so I could buy some more which that's not very environmentally friendly is it but it, it's working really well. It isn't as um clean and tidy on the side of the sink it means the sink needs wiping over a bit more because you get like the soap scuzz on the edge of the sink but it's it's not a big deal and that one has been a uh, fine swap no problems another one in the kitchen has been these beeswax wraps so it's a cotton that's soaked in beeswax beeswax and you use it instead of um cling film or plastic film to wrap things up this is a really large one that we use for bread because trevor always makes his own bread he puts this over the top of the bowl when it's proven and he also then uses it to wrap around the bread. I think they've got a bit of a scent to them. They've got that kind of honeycomb waxy smell and I don't particularly like it, but it doesn't taint the food. It doesn't um, make anything taste different. I just don't like the smell when I've got it wafting around in front of my face. And it's got a kind of tackiness to it. So when you're sticking it around something, it kind of sticks together and we've had these for oh, this big one we've had for quite a while and then we bought a few smaller ones which are good for like smaller items in the fridge like cheese or fruit um but this bigger one i feel it could be losing its stickiness a little bit so i'll see how it fares i, th I think we got this one quite early on so we probably had this for about five months um as which we probably would have gone through quite a bit of cling film in that time so it's still good but i'll I'm going to reserve judgment until we're all the way through to the end of the year on these. But in general, I think you can re-wax them or re-warm them. In general, it has been a good one. I'm fairly sure I've mentioned solid shampoo before. This is a solid shampoo from Lush and I keep it in this tin. I discovered this last year when I went on holiday and my luggage was lost and I needed to buy more shampoo. But I didn't want to buy a big plastic bottle of shampoo because I knew I was going to be going home and the volume of liquid that you can take on the plane is really small and I bought these uh, Lush shampoo bars. It worked really well. When it gets down to the end it does tend to crumble a little bit so it's, it's awkward when you're at the last little bit um, to wash your hair but there's no waste at all with that and I've got a tin, a travel tin to keep it in so I've been really impressed with it. The other thing that I tried from Lush was solid deodorant. 
I haven't got any here now, but it was just a solid um, square block of deodorant that you put on and I didn't get on very well with it. As a deodorant it worked it worked well, it was it you didn't feel sweaty and it had a nice scent to it. But during the winter it was really, really cold and I kept it in the bathroom and I found it took a while to to warm up and it felt like it was really dragging under my arms when the the block of sham the, the block of deodorant was cold. It probably would be fine in this weather. In fact, I wonder if it would have been an issue with it melting. It's been so hot. But I couldn't get along with it. It was it was uncomfortable to drag it under my arm in the morning. It didn't heat up very well. Um, so I have gone back with the um, deodorant to using one that comes in plastic packaging, which is a bit annoying. I I think I could I could give that a, a go again or try a different brand perhaps or maybe keep the, my bathroom is freezing so keep it somewhere a bit warmer i'm not completely given up on that but it, it was one that was it didn't work very well for me and i would like something that did work so I'll, I'll have to keep trying on that one there have been a few other things that didn't work we tried having a milk delivery because we generally have quite a lot of, of plastic waste we go through a few cartons of milk and that didn't work either. We have a milkman that comes to this area. The milk was more expensive. It's double the price to have it delivered than it is to buy it. But I was I was willing to compromise on that because we um we do have our groceries delivered. I'll get onto that. But if we were to buy the milk from the shop and carry it back, it's kind of heavy. So maybe it's worth paying a little bit more to have it delivered. But the milkman delivered too late. He delivered after nine o'clock in the morning. And at that time we were both likely to be out of the house. The milk didn't go off, but again, it was earlier in the year. If it was now, that milk definitely would have gone off because it's just been so hot. Um, so given the price, that just, that didn't work for us either, which wasn't so good. We have also ditched the tissues and I have been, well, we've both been using hankies instead, which work really nicely. And we pop a big pile of those in the washing machine at the end of the week. I'm not going anywhere near using reusable cloths in the toilet. I think that's a step too far for me, but tissues for hankies is no problem. So the other big one has been, all of this stuff that I've been washing extra has been these soap nuts. And I've been really impressed with them. They're the husks. <laughs> Let me get them out. Of oh, nuts, they've got like a vinegary scent to them and you put them into a little pouch, uh, like a hessian pouch, you tie it off and put that into the washing machine and it, they clean your clothes instead of using detergent and instead of using a big plastic container for that but also just the chemicals that are in detergent. I have found them really good. I think though most clothes you might not even use to need to use soap with them because once they've been rinsed so many times through the washing machine I think the water does a pretty good job anyway. There are a few things that I've still been using um, some proper soap for. I did switch to reusable sanitary products so I wanted to use uh, soap for that and sometimes when I wash um, the towels if they've got like a bit of a musty smell I still prefer to go for soap although I do think I could still I could use the soap nuts I guess I'm just gaining my confidence with them and you've got this really big bag I think it was a kilo bag which was 10 pounds and the big laundry detergent that we would use would be about 10 pounds too and so far this has lasted us a good five six months I think that is pretty much everything that I have changed and as I say all of those things have been working quite well there's a couple of areas I would still like to improve. One is toothbrushes. I've heard a lot of good stuff about the bamboo toothbrushes, but we haven't needed new toothbrushes yet. We already had some toothbrushes set aside, plastic ones. Um, so in the future, I would like to try the bamboo toothbrushes. And then there are a couple of areas that I just don't think that I'm doing very well in. And the one is having my groceries delivered from the supermarket. It's, it's a tough one with this because it's just so convenient for us to have it delivered. We live about half an hour out of town and we don't have a car. So when we go shopping in town, which is definitely the place to go if we're going to be low waste because you can go to the greengrocers and you just buy the bananas that you need and they don't already come wrapped in plastic. And you can go to the butchers and they'll wrap it in paper for you. Um, 
it, it's definitely the way to go but it means we have to then carry that stuff back here which is it's time consuming because you can only get a little bit at a time and it's, it's just not convenient so having things delivered from the supermarket does work really well but it comes with so much plastic waste and I've tried to swap a few little bits so I can pick up a few bits in town but I think the lifestyle change that it will take to get all of my grocery shopping on foot in town it's just not I can't seem to fit it into our lives right now it's not it's not working so I've still been buying from the supermarket I think that's everything that's all of the changes that we've made most of them are quite small things and have been really easy to implement as I mentioned at the start of the video the biggest thing is just doing what works for you right now the supermarket shop is working for me and I'm gonna look at ways to implement it probably if we had a car it would be easier to get into town but then there's like the balance of how efficient is it running a car versus having your groceries delivered once a week but they come in a lot of plastic I don't know it's not about doing everything it's just about making little changes um, and that's the way I'm going to continue to go forward let me know in the comments below if you have made any swaps or any other ideas you have that we could possibly implement thanks for watching guys bye bye <laughs>